everyone it's Margaret with creative stamping with Margaret I'm here with one of our cards from this month's card class which featured the playing in the rain bundle that bundle is in the mini catalog that's the January through April catalog and you'll find it on page 51 uh, in addition to using the bundle I'm uh, using some of the designer series paper which is called the rain or shine specialty designer series paper that's part of that uh, product suite and it's just a gorgeous paper what's great about it is uh, it has some of the images that you can stamp that um, are also in the paper that coordinate with the dies. So the turtle, the fox, and the rabbit are all uh, characters that are in the paper, as well as there's another sheet that has additional characters. You can see I've gone through a lot of this, but it has these others. But it's some gorgeous paper. See all the little scrap pieces I have in there. And then, of course, uh, like most of Stampin' Up's designer series paper, they're double-sided so that you have beautiful prints on both sides. So I've tried to um, incorporate using the paper in the card designs using um, the playing in the rain um, bundle. And so for our card class this month, there were four cards which all featured um, this playing in the rain bundle so be sure to look for the other videos there's a total of four and all of them are a different project uh, with this playing in the rain bundle but let's get back to the card on hand and this is a fun fold card so we have where the sort of a hinge card is what I call it I'm not sure what the name is uh, the official name but I call it the hinge card but we've got this bunny that came from that designer series paper and as I mentioned the dies uh, the playing in the rain has the bunny die that coordinates to cut that the kite is also a die that we'll be using for this card as well as the uh, other second portion of the kite die it's actually two pieces well, I guess you would say there's three pieces for the kite if you want to use and add a little, uh, I, I call them tails, but a little bow to add on to your kite. Now, if you uh, took the card class or ordered the kit to go, you will have received all of the materials uh, as shown on the card sample so this designer series paper and the mango melody uh, card stock base that we're using for the sample that I'm making uh, on this display I've changed it up a little I'm still using some of the designer series paper that rain or shine designer series paper but I have changed uh, from the plaid print I've changed to more of just the speckled print and I'm using basic black cardstock as my base um, so nothing else has changed the assembly is all the same so I did want to point that out if you um, did order a to-go kit from me and don't fret as you're watching this video I'm not going to give the dimensions they're all listed in the details of this video along with all of the materials that I've used so that you can um, replicate the card you can also just hit the link to order any of the supplies that you need uh, to make the card so let's get started so we have our basic black base we also have a panel of the basic black which will be added to the front when we do the hinge then of course here is my larger panel of the designer series paper that I'm going to use on my inside piece then I have the two uh, floral pieces that I'm going to use 
then I just had this scrap of paper in there and this is what I used when I cut the little tail I had a smaller piece and just cut one from that you could also cut it from uh, the mango melody if you wish and that would be uh, just a scrap piece that you would use when you cut your kite the layering piece for the kite and then of course a scrap a basic black just to cut your kite. Then we have our two white panels for stamping and then of course you will have also in your kit received uh, one of the the bunnies that um, is, is ready for die cutting. If you ordered the kit, it was already die cut for you. I always do the die cuts. I do not do stamping, so you will need to uh, get out your stamp set to do that. The ink colors that I'm using, I'm using Memento Black, and I'm using Balmy Blue. The Balmy Blue is for stamping the clouds. The Basic Black, I'm stamping Oh Happy Day as well as on the interior panel I have stamped the little daisies and I'm coloring those with the watercolor pencils just coloring in the yellow and the green the yellow center of the daisy and then green on the leaves just to give it a little up and then in your kit if you ordered the kit to go I put a panel for you to use on your uh, envelope to embellish it but for this envelope for this card I decided I'm going to stamp the daisy on the front so uh, I'm just going to change that up a little just trying to give you additional ideas when you um, are creating and also on my card sample I have used uh, Versamark and black embossing powder to heat emboss the sentiment excuse me I'm got a catch in my throat I'm just getting over allergies so it every once in a while I get a little catch there but um, back to what I was saying I used uh, Versamark and black embossing powder to heat emboss for today's card I'm just going to use the memento but if you want to uh, add a little bit more pizzazz to your card by all means, use your Versamark and your heat embossing powder to, to stamp your sentiment. It, it makes for a lovely um, finish on your card. So let's get started with this. So the first thing we're going to do is you will fold your card base in, in the center at five and a half. This is a four and a quarter by eleven card stock that's been scored at five and a half and then again it was scored at two and three quarters so on this two and three quarter panel we're going to fold it back on itself this creates that little hinge and so that's the piece as you see for when we add that pan panel piece so let's go ahead and add our designer series panel uh, designer series paper panel from the rain or shine packet to the front and inside of our card we'll, we'll get all of this base prepared before we do our stamping This Mango Melody on black makes such a stunning card. It looks, looks great on Mango Melody itself, keeping it monochromatic, but I decided to change it up a little for this just to see what it would look like. Plus, it gives you more ideas on color options you can use. Plus, we're doing the black kite so that it all seems to marry together so we can set this to the side 
pull in our pieces for stamping. The stamps that you're going to use from the set, as I mentioned earlier, the Oh Happy Day and the Daisy, and then the Cloud. So let's do the Memento Black first. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And that will be one of the panels down in the right corner. And I always like to use the grid lines to make sure I have my paper straight when I'm stamping. Let me make sure I have that inked up good. I'll hold that for a few seconds so the ink can transfer good. And we'll do the same with our daisies. We'll stamp them on our, our interior panel. And I'm t stamping that on the left corner. And while I have the ink out, I'm going to go ahead and pull in my envelope. Oh, do I want to put it on the front or you know what I'm gonna stay I'm gonna be a little bit different usually I stamp on the front but I think on this I'm going to stamp just approximately in the center on the back that just gives it a different little hue you could also stamp all the way across if you wanted but I'm just gonna keep it at that and to color those I'm pulling in these watercolor pencil and I'm just coloring the leaves only and the center of the daisy I'm keeping them white and before I'm go any further I'm going to cover this ink pad and move it before I put my arm in that okay now that that's out of the way we'll go ahead and color the envelope where we stamped as well So our envelope is done, so we can move that out of the way. The next stamping we want to do is with our clouds, and we're using Balmy Blue, and I am only going to stamp two of the clouds. There are three on the stamp set, so I'm going to stamp where that it stamps off on that top cloud. So we'll... And that's just so it, it gives us more room for our kite to look like it's in the sky and not with the bunny all the way down at the bottom. Now we're going to add this to our black panel. Next, we want to add this panel to the front of our card. Now, I'm going to caution you, and you'll see, see how this opens up. We don't want to add glue to the entire back, because otherwise we would glue our card shut. So I like to just sort of hold it and see where about it would be. And I'm just going to put my fingers there and hold that and put liquid adhesive across there and then down along this side. So see it's just on the half. Then we'll center that, get that, and open this up and make sure that the, the glue is there. Otherwise I'd have to work quickly to wipe that off. So we've got that nice there. So next we want to add our panel to the inside and we want to make sure that it's in far enough and down centered so that it's hidden and covered by our front. 
So that looks like the location about where it would go. So that gives me an idea how far in to place it. And you could put a little mark if you wanted, but you'll learn after a while how just to sort of eyeball and get a rough figure where it's probably about an inch to three quarters to an inch inside. And there we have that. Plus using the liquid adhesive gives you a little bit more play. So now we are ready to bring in our bunny that you will die cut using the coordinating dies. And then of course we'll cut, we have our two cut pieces, actually three including the little tail for our kite. So let's go ahead and put our kite together. The kite would have looked good also using some designer series paper to cut and have uh, a patterned panel on this kite, but I decided to just keep it with the solid. And then I've got my little tail on the kite. This is so small. So what I like to do is just put a dot of the liquid adhesive in the area where I want that to be placed and then I'll just place this on there. It was so small that a glue dot was even a little bit too large for it. So there we have that placed on there. So we'll let that dry, sit and dry and while that is taking place let's bring in the bunny and our stamping dimensionals. And I like to use quite a few of these, so I'm putting four on here. Let me move this one up a little bit more. And then I'll put a fifth one in this area. So I'm placing him on the left corner and now to add the kite. And so what I have done when I added the kite to the front here is I wanted it to have I wanted him to have the string of the kite in his hand. So first I'm going to glue down the main part of the kite. I did not use uh, dimensionals on that. Now you could if you wanted to, but I've got it where it's going off. And then I'm just going to take, I'm going to take, bring in my paper snips and where it's got that excess, I'm cutting that off so that it's right in the center of his hand and what I'm doing is using a drop of the liquid adhesive there and I'm just moving the tail of the kite in and I'm going to hold that for just with the tip of my scissors for just a 10 10 seconds or so, just long enough for that adhesive to grab. Now you could put the kite up on dimensionals if you wanted and then um, even tuck, the, tuck it under his hand, but I just thought, oh no, it needs to look more like it's in his hand. And so that, that worked out as a good way to do it. Then lastly, we just need to embellish the card and, and um, em embellish the kite, I should say. And I've used 
basic rhinestone gem just to put right in the middle of the kite. Let's use one of the larger ones here. So there, we have completed our fun fold playing in the rain card, our oh happy day. We have two variations here. We have it with our basic black cardstock uh, as the base. And I've switched up one of the panels of the designer series paper. Plus I pulled in a different color bunny, which worked good. And I stamped the daisies onto the back of the card. Then of course we have the original, which is the one that was done at the in-person class, as well as anyone that ordered a kit to go, you would have received the plaid paper plus the mango melody uh, color as your card base. But now I've given you different ideas and different options. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I do additional videos. As well, be sure to um, like this video. I would appreciate that. And again, this is Margaret Knight with Creative Stamping with Margaret. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I appreciate you taking the time to spend a few moments watching uh, as I assembled this card. Enjoy the rest of your day.